And I think good whistleblower attorneys are born. I don't think that they're trained. I think they're born. I think they're just some lawyers like me that don't like sending a bill to a client. I never felt comfortable billing a client just based on my time. I love being able to bill a client or to recover money based upon my results. So my clients never pay us a penny if we don't win money for them. Marlon Wilbanks, Wilbanks and Gowanlock. Effective and experienced representation for whistleblowers. Okay, well I'm very interested in helping you, uh, but the first thing we need to do is set a time to get together. So what was that time frame? His partner is Susan Gowanlock. Our firm works really hard. We don't take shortcuts. The government asked me to review 28,000 documents. I reviewed 28,000 documents. I, I, I don't take shortcuts. I, when I'm given a task to do, I do it 110%, and so does Berlin. We do whatever it takes to win. Uh, we've, through the years, had cases where we had to add dozens of lawyers to handle the case, and we're very willing to do that. Whatever it takes, we will not allow a case to get into a situation where we're outworked or outmanned. The Taxpayers Against Fraud annual dinner. Ellen Coons was named Whistleblower of the Year. She received part of an $85 million settlement with a hospital in Florida. Marlin was her attorney. Thanks, Jim. He will have your back through the whole process. And I think for anyone thinking about being a whistleblower, you need someone to have your back because you lose your whole support system. And, and that's what he did for me. He had my back and held my hand through the whole process that I could not have done on my own. I didn't always tell her what she wanted to hear. And I didn't always say things are gonna be easy. All I could do was guarantee that once the truth came out, that I had enough faith in the system that patients would be safer and that money would be returned that was defrauded from the government. So part of having somebody's back is having the freedom to be honest. Another client, Chris Goble, who received part of a $300 million settlement with a pharmaceutical company. He is just uh, extremely knowledgeable and I, I can't imagine any other attorney in the United States that I would want to go with. Ladies and gentlemen, it's my pleasure uh, to award Marlon Wilbanks the Lawyer of the Year Award this year uh, on behalf of Taxpayers Against Fraud. Selected by their peers, hundreds of other whistleblower attorneys as Whistleblower Lawyer of the Year, Will Banks and Gowanlock. Why call them? Because they are the best. These lawyers and this firm are personally invested in every case they take. You know, the fact that it's a small firm, I think, helps because when you have two attorneys you're dealing with, they both know the case inside and out. You don't have to go through an associate, you know, to leave your questions. You can call their cell phones at any time, 24-7. If we take your case, we work it. That means that you're not thrown off on an associate or somebody who's learning it. You are sitting down with people who have done this for many, many years. Small, personal, experienced, successful, and another thing. We are relentless. We never give up. We don't take shortcuts. We file cases and intend to win them. And we do what it takes to win them. As a matter of fact, you know, preparing a case and filing a case is only one small part of a lawsuit. Multiple stages throughout the whole process there were multiple attempts to file motions to dismiss. And Marlin would just be in there, just tearing it apart. And they are giant killers. They regularly take on the largest companies in the U.S. and their armies of lawyers and win. No case is too big for us. It doesn't matter if it is against the biggest company in the United States. Through the years, we've added hundreds of lawyers to our cases where that need was necessary. We don't back down from that just because they're a big corporation or a big defense firm against us. In a recent case, the defendants in that case spent $30 million paying their lawyers, and the result they got was that they lost the largest Stark settlement in the history of the United States. You don't get to be National Law Firm of the Year if you can't take on the Giants and beat them. If we bring in other lawyers, other law firms, that doesn't come out of the client's pocket. That We pay for that out of our share of the case. My clients 
call me wanting to win their case. They call me wanting someone to fight for them. I like to do that. I, I like to win. But I like to win because it's not only a victory for me, it's a victory for my client and the taxpayers. Year after year, for almost 20 years, these lawyers have been fighting for their clients, for whistleblowers, though often among themselves they use a different word, hero. They are heroes. They're heroes in the truest sense of the word. They are people that come forward with no guarantee of financial reward, but that come forward with a story that benefits hundreds and thousands and tens of thousands of people. Okay, so how long between the time... Finally the this. this problem they make the this pledge to you okay, as their client. If we do take your case, it's because we think it's a good one and we will do everything that anybody could do to win that case.